So at Stein, the research on high population corn just continues to evolve. Um, for a number of years, we were on 22-inch uh, rows uh, when, you know, majority of farmers are still in 30-inch rows. That's worked very, very well. Um, as we started to look very deeply into this high population corn initiative, uh, the last couple of years we've been in 12 inch rows and that allowed us to really narrow up the row spacing and get near equidistant spacing as what we were really looking for to have those plants kind of have equal space all around them for lights, sunlight, nutrients and so forth. This year we've switched our configuration to what we're calling twin 20s, uh, which is basically a twin row configuration where you have uh, 20 inch on centers but you have um, twin rows that are 8 inches apart. The, the beauty of that system is really uh, you know, a couple things. One is, uh, in terms of efficiency, it allows us to make even more efficient use of space than we had with our 12-inch row spacing, because if you take that and average it out, you're really averaging uh, about a 10-inch row spacing. The next thing, which is really nice, is one of the things we heard from a lot of growers when we talked about 12-inch row corn was uh, that, that they like the idea, they understand the philosophy, but they don't want to have to go out and buy a custom corn head to harvest 12-inch row corn. The beauty of the twin 20s is um, really that can be harvested using uh, a standard 20-inch, uh, you know, combine head, um, which is available from another a number of different manufacturers. So really makes takes the HP system and makes it uh, attainable for even more growers. But they can certainly boost the population as long as they're looking at using genetics that are adapted to high populations. If growers are interested to learn more about our HP corn initiative, we certainly encourage them to visit us at the, at the Adele farm. Um, but we've also taken the steps to try to get HP corn out in the field so more and more growers can, can see it and see how it, how it looks and see how it, it responds to weather and environment and so forth. Um, we're going to have somewhere just a, around 40 different uh, HP corn uh, demo sites all around the United States uh, that where we are, have gone in and planted. Um, you know, sets of genetics that are adapted to high population and re should respond well to being planted in our twin 20 row configuration at, you know, 50,000 population. And also in that same demo, we're going to have um, what I'd call more, uh, more conventional or old fashioned genetics that, that respond, that are, do well in, in more, more conventional row spacing. And the idea is to help growers understand how important genetics is to, under, to uh, having success with high population corn and narrow row configuration. So they can certainly visit one of those sites and if they need to know more about that, they can see our website or visit their uh, Stein dealer who can help them locate a HP corn demo site near them.